<laughs> this workshop is the uh, how to ace your project submission uh, workshop. So this is specific to the uh, Canto online hackathon, but um, I guess a lot of the tips and tricks I will say today uh, will be similar or relevant for other ones. Uh, and I'll I, I'll actually show you a quick guideline that I made for another hackathon, but um, will work just as well here. Um, okay, so back to the hacker pack. Here we go. Um, if you go into submitting your project, these are the two key things that you need to remember um, or two key things you must submit. So that's one, the code base and two, your video demo. Um, my main trick for the code base is to make sure that um, you have a good readme or that there is um, good documentation at the start because when um, the judges come and have a look at your code later on, um, you don't want them leaving or you don't want them feeling frus frustrated because um, they can't find exactly what they're looking for or, or they're not sure what they're, um, what, where exactly you they've you you've used their tech um so it takes them a while to find it or whatever um so big big tip is um make sure that you have everything clearly laid out in your github repo um so that judges can very easily find exactly what they're looking for uh, and they know exactly where you've used um the sponsor's tech so that they can judge accurately and fairly um the second thing is, uh, yeah, the, the video demo. So the video demo is three minutes long and a lot of people kind of get, um, you know, they, they underestimate this. They underestimate um, having a strong demo with good, um, good visuals and a good layout. Um, your video demo is pretty much what the judges will see or the thing that they will want to look at as soon as they open up your submission to uh, to check it out and to essentially judge it. So those three minutes that you have are going to be super important for you um, to make sure that you're leaving a great first impression. So three minutes is not a lot of time, but um, you're, you're going to want to make sure that you're highlighting uh, kind of three main things, which is what your project is trying to do. So inside this, uh, that can include, I don't know, your problem, your problem statement or, um, you know, things that you're trying to solve or just kind of a, a one liner sales pitch of what your project is trying to achieve. That's what you want to encompass in that first section. What is your project? Give us a bit of context. Um, the second thing you want to you're going to want to have is a really strong demo. So um, the main thing is that judges are going to be impressed by what they see or or what you've been able to do. So if you spend uh, a lot of your time trying to explain your problem or explain um, how you've done things, it doesn't leave a lot of time for having a great demo to show this is literally what I've built. So. The second part is making sure that you have a good video demo that kind of tells you exactly what you've done and shows you what you've done, not just uh, you telling the judge. Um, and finally, number three, I would say kind of have a short conclusion. It doesn't need to be long, but something to summarize exactly what you've um, built and what you've achieved, because I think having something to tie that together really helps create um, a good video demo and helps your judge um, remember exactly who you are. Um, so I've done a lot of talking and I really should have done what I, I said myself, which is to go in and show you. So I made this document. Um, it's my guide to perfecting your pre-recorded hackathon pitch. Um, and uh, I made this for another hackathon that I was mentoring in, but it, I think, is very useful for any online hackathon that you will be doing where you will have to pre-record a hackathon pitch or demo um, as part of your submission. I, I think most hackathons have this component. So these are some general um, ways of making sure your project is 
good. So um, making sure you know whether or not you're using slides. Um, there are examples where you can use slides, some where they don't use slides, and it's um, equally as good. It just completely depends on what your project is. So I've included some examples here, and I'll drop this in link in the chat quickly. Um, and I'll I'll have that in the um the in the hacker pack at some point as well. Um, so making sure you know how you're structuring your demo. Will you use slides? Will you be using just a full video of what your um DAP front end looks like? Um, figuring something like that out is important because you need to know how to structure it. Um, check out these examples if you guys have time. Um, secondly, then making sure you're you know what platform you're using to record i think that's super helpful sometimes as well um so here are a few different examples you can use google slides canva powerpoint um oh sorry this is for slides in particular but um as an extension of this um you can use these slide platforms to um record on the same thing on the same platform so here you can see my quick chart um super easy um so if you want to have a look at those again you can have a look through this little guide um and i've added some uh examples and questions and things like that um so yeah if you do have slides sorry this was the the real point have a look at uh, a couple of these figure out what you like best um and make sure that you you know it well. Um, one thing I'd love to highlight, and the reason why I've added slides in this guide is because visuals play a huge part of your um, of your presentation and your pitch. So having something that very easily helps you um, tell the story of your project is going to be quite nice and quite helpful to the judges. Um, what else? Yeah, because this demo is going to be um, pre-recorded, you can use a range of different tools. So I know that Mac and Windows both have, um, you know, screen share or sorry, screen record. So you can use that. Um, you can use a screen recording tool like Loom. Um, or um, so this one's, yeah, record locally in your platform. That works quite well. Um, but my quick hack, my quick tip is that if you are struggling to use any of those um, programs or it's like a hassle to get everything there, um, you could just you could do a Zoom, meet, uh, Zoom meeting even. But um, like Google Meets, you could just set up a meeting like this turn on the, the recording share your screen and you'll be able to create your own little video um, which can be used as your video demo submission so this is a quick hack or quick tip to get your video done um, there is a bit of um, a pitch structure here that I have kind of given you don't need to follow this but this is in case um, you want something to help guide you or whatever um, and you can look through that yourselves um, and yeah top tips so uh, keep it concise make sure you're not going over three minutes because we have a hard three minute um, kind of cut off point most judges perhaps won't look past about three minutes or might not have the attention span to last through three minutes so you've got to make sure that at least your project isn't your video demo is engaged uh, it's engaging and also you're keeping it concise um, so that you share all the information that you need nice and quickly um, another tip uh, think about who you're pitching to um, are your are the judges for the tracks technical or non-technical and for you guys for this canto online hackathon you can go in the telegram chat and and ask around um, there are only two tracks so the general canto track so in which case if you're building for that i would highly suggest you go speak to hutch or evan from the canto um, team or canto representatives and they'll be able to help you out um tell you what to build what or what is exciting for them to see um for you to build on canto or um kind of what projects they are hoping to um see come out of this hackathon so 
two different things exciting things or things that they're hoping that will come out I guess there, there is a bit of an overlap there but it really does help to speak to the judges ahead of time so that you both know exactly what they're looking for but secondly um who your audience is um Maharab, no problem just watch your recording all good um yeah uh the same goes for the cadence uh, track so if you guys are building for the cadence track please do um get get in in touch with them uh, i know vivaldi is pretty active in the canter chat so just drop drop him a dm or um if you go to actually in the hacker pack hopefully you should see this in the hacker pack under technical office hours you can book um an office hour session with uh with Vivaldi to speak uh and here's Evan as well so if you guys want to speak to these two um regarding the tracks you can do and then David and Abby from Plex Labs uh, are both really good for technical support so again please do get in touch with them they're they're great cool okay um so back to sort of submissions um yeah make sure that you give yourself enough time I think that's my next tip um of course we do have a while until submission we have a week until um the end of this hackathon so make sure that you are giving yourself enough time i'd say maybe it takes an hour to get all of your materials together to record um so make sure that you're leaving an hour to do your recordings and things like that um and more time before that to get everything working including your you know your demo and your um your slides um the pitch is what the judges see and it might even be more important than having perfect working code so most of the time i know that people look at the video demo first to uh understand your project to get a bit of context uh for what your project is and then they might look into your code so make sure that you aren't underestimating what the pitch should be that you're explaining your project well um and then you dive into dive into your uh code and you can share your code or you can share your demo and, and show it off um consider recording your demo video without audio as a separate file um that is aside from uh the the time that you're you're taking to actually record so that is another another tip you can do this is in case of any network issues you don't want to be trying to deal with both um recording what your demo looks like first as well as doing the, the voiceover at the same time so there's there's another tip and lastly yeah practice make sure that you're enthusiastic practice with a friend um of course this was this was for an uh in-person hackathon but um the same applies maybe just practice with a friend make sure that they review your submission uh and in this document as well i've got some great example pictures from previous encode hackathons so i will link this in the hack pack so that you know um anyhow just going back to this so you've got the you've got your hack pack if you're submitting or need to know any information please just go into submit submitting your project to this section you've got your code base your video demo you can add your pitch deck um, itself the slides or anything else as an additional um uh thing to add to be part of your um submission it, it's quite nice if you have a working uh web page with your dap on it or whatever you can link that and that's quite fun um if you've got it working that is so those are options uh and then finally yeah if you're going to submit you can just do so here press start and continue through the normal process so everything can be done through this hacker pack um but of course if you have any questions please do ask um yeah so hopefully this is all very clear the deadline is sunday 5th of may so we do have uh, i believe just one more week left but that is plenty of time for you guys to wrap up and get everything going cool that's pretty much the end of my session 
Um, if you guys didn't know, in about 10 minutes, um, we'll have some of the mentors come and join us and you can ask them any technical questions or uh, bounce ideas off them if you haven't started building yet, things like that. So um, please do stick around and make sure that you have enough time to do that or, you know, have have questions ready. But um, does anyone have any questions for me uh, for right now regarding submission things? guys can drop um you can drop a message in the chat if you'd like hi Ankit hello good to see you guys um good to see you join us uh we're a small bunch today but are you guys building um Haley seven Ankit are you guys all um building where are you guys at with your projects or are you just here to to learn I guess Okay, building two projects. Nice. Um, fantastic. So I'm just pouring myself a bit more water. Um, great. Could you uh give me a quick summary on on both of those projects, what you're building? Okay, great, awesome. Um, general metaverse development, great, and social engagement for airdrops for missions, building NFT minting, great, awesome. Oh, awesome, yeah that's Ankit that's a yeah so different projects between um the two of you uh fantastic um and how's how's progress been going um have you been able to launch it on Canto have you been able to um implement any cool features what are your goals well um Hayley great it should be okay it's already hooked up with MetaMask and went through auth great um amazing uh and how is it going with um uh well are you are you generally just going for the uh general track i guess the the normal canto track um and then to ank it um no worries uh yeah regarding mentors and submission and the pr submission process um yeah so let me drop the link for the hacker pack in the chat again let me do this um and you can have a look um Haley, uh i guess so um you could just do that um and it would it would be deployed on canto uh i think what would be exciting is if you already have a project uh and you want to be more eligible for some of those prizes or for a larger amount of the of the pool um perhaps integrating something new or um i don't know create let's see mm -hmm. general metaverse development social engagement um yeah you could do i don't know for projects on using airdrops maybe there's some sort of DeFi application you can add to it or maybe the missions can be DeFi related because this is what the Kanto team are eager to see or are interested in seeing so DeFi applications or or um what's the word uh suggestions um I'm actually going to stop the recording um in case um yeah, mostly a DeFi narrative. Great. All right. I'm going to stop the recording here because I think that we're, we're going into the sort of more mentoring session now. Mm -hmm.